Hello everyone. In this high yielding shorts, I am going to tell you about Burkitt's lymphoma, right? Which is a mature B cell type of lymphoma. That is why when you are seeing mature, so it will be CD34 negative and B cell, so it will be immunoglobulin positive. So they are CD34 negative and immunoglobulin positive lymphoma. Their origin is from germinal center and that is why they will be BCL6 positive. So what we can understand from the Burkitt's lymphoma, they are BCL2 negative. So remember, it's very important. Anti-apoptotic BCL2 is negative, but they are arising from the germinal center. So BCL6 will be positive. And because of because BCL6 is negative, so there is an increased rate of apoptosis will be seen in this tumor, right? If you look into the Burkitt lymphoma, we can broadly divide them into two endemic and sporadic. Right, endemic is usually seen in pediatric African baby. As you can see, this is the pediatric African baby. Most commonly, they are associated with Epstein Barr virus. So, remember, Epstein Barr virus is more commonly associated with endemic. So, E for endemic, E for Epstein Barr virus. What is the most common site? Face is the most common site, and where? In the mandible. So, now you can see this baby face is affected, and in the mandible, you are going to see the lesion. Right, a sporadic Burkitt lymphoma is usually seen in adults. They are having less common association with Epstein-Barr virus and their most common site will be the ileocecal area in abdomen, right? And when you are going to see the uh, lymph node biopsy of the Burkitt's lymphoma, what will be the characteristic finding? You can see there are so many small round blue cell tumor because of the nuclei is prominent, cytoplasm is scanty, right? So this is small round blue cell tumors are forming the sky, right? So they are forming the sky because they are blue in color. Sky is blue, right? And then because of the anti-apoptotic absence, there will be more apoptosis and due to more apoptosis, who will come? Macrophage. So macrophage with tumor debris will be called as a star. So now you can see in this biopsy, these are the macrophages which are forming the stars right so these are all macrophages which are forming the stars right and in the background these tumor cells you can see these are all small round blue cell tumor right so these are all small round blue cell tumor they are forming the sky so this overall appearance is called as starry sky appearance right so remember starry sky appearance is seen in burkitt lymphoma and what is a star macrophage what is a sky tumor cell right so when we come to the diagnosis of the Burkitt lymphoma, we require three things, bone marrow aspirate, immunophenotyping and cytogenetics. Aspirate will be showing you numerous vacuoles into the cytoplasm and cytoplasm will be having a peculiar or characteristic royal blue cytoplasm. So you can see there is a royal blue cytoplasm here. You can notice these are the royal blue cytoplasm areas which I'm marking with the you know uh, arrow. These are all royal blue cytoplasm and they are having so many vacuoles which are having lipid also, right? And on immunophenotyping because they are BCL tumors, so CD10 positive. 19 positive they are arising from the germinal center so bcl6 positive cytogenetics there will be a c mic translocation because of the c mic translocation you are going to see translocation 814 translocation 28 and translocation 822 because chromosome number 8 is the location for the c mic c mic so enjoy learning best wishes for